Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tech Pocket, and today I want to show you how to downgrade iOS 9.1 down to iOS 9.0.2. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to connect your Apple device to your computer using a cable, and of course, the second thing is to download the iOS 9.0.2 firmware. To do this, you need to go to your web browser and of course go to this website. There are other websites too, but I prefer this one because it's more simpler. So what you need to do is to go to this link. If you're having trouble finding this website, I have a link in the description for you. What you need to do right now is to go to select a device and find the device that you have. So for example, I have the iPhone 6, but you have a different device, for example, iPhone 5C or iPad 2, which are actually the different versions. So what you need to do right now is to check your uh, model number of your uh, Apple device, which is displayed on the back of your device. If you have a trouble allocating your uh, model number, then you should go to this notation right here, annotation, which actually will navigate the video tutorial on how to find out your model number of your Apple device. Once you have done that, then you should know your model number of your device. Select your device and then go to select iOS version. As you can see, only these two have green, which means you can restore with these versions your Apple device. And we are going to download the iOS 9.0.2 firmware. As you can see here it says sign it, which means you can restore it using iTunes. Then you're ready to click download. Have already downloaded, so it doesn't need to download the second time, which is located right here. The second, the third thing you need to do is to go to iTunes. And then I have to mention that I have iOS 9.1. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. So once you once you are on iTunes, then click on backup now because we're going to install a different iOS firmware where all the device, the files will be deleted photo, videos, apps, all will be deleted so it's recommended to, to backup your data to your computer after you have done the backup you need to enter the DFU mode on your Apple device to do this you need to hold down the power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds and then release the power button and hold down the home button for another 7 seconds. So let's get started. 1, 2, 3, go. Hold down the power button and the home button. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release the power button. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, and then you should have this message here. iTunes has detected an iPhone recording mode, but actually the DFU mode. So what you can do here, you can restore your iPhone or your iPad or wherever iOS device you have with another firmware or the same firmware, or you can actually restore it. To, to, to get out of DFU mode, you have to hold down both of these buttons power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds until you see the app logo if you just enter the DFU mode by mistake. So what we're going to do now is if you have a Mac hold down the Alt, the option key, the Alt button which is actually next to the command button and the control button or if you are on Windows hold down the shift button, the shift key. So I'm gonna hold down the Alt key because I am on Mac I'm going to press on restore. So I have the file here, so I'm going to drag it here. I'm going to hit open. And once you're here, then you're ready to click restore. And your phone, your Apple device, will be restored to this firmware. I'm not going to do this right now. So after you have done, then you should be on the activation lock screen. And it's very simple. You have to, to enter your... Uh, your ID password and then set up your Apple device and then you're done. You're back to iOS 9.8.0.2 and then you should have an option and then you can 
restore your backup to your Apple device. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please make sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page, watch my latest content and my latest videos. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch my latest videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching guys, and I'm gonna see you next time.